Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to a new video. So as you know already, I've done on my channel a lot of installations of Arch and also a lot of installations of Arch with desktop environments and window managers as well. And as you probably already know, my favorite window manager is actually VSPWM, which I'm using on my main machine for daily work. But I wanted to share with you also what is my favorite desktop environment because I've been using a lot of those. I've been using GNOME, KDE and many others and I've done tutorials for all of them on the channel. And I wanted to share with you actually that my favorite desktop environment is actually Cinnamon. And there are several reasons for that. One is that because it's fairly light and it offers also a good amount of customization options without doing too much and without doing too little. So it's really in the middle, it's a good balance for me. This is of course all about personal preference. This is just my opinion and my preference here and nothing else. So let me show you actually what I'm talking about. So here I have an installation of Arch on a virtual machine, which I just set up a few hours ago. And we have here version five of Cinnamon, which was released actually just a few days ago. And it offers actually support for newer technologies. We have also some extra tools here for updating your spices. That means applets, desklets and extensions. GUI and CLI, although the GUI is not yet available, at least I couldn't find it here on Arch yet. And that's probably because the Linux Mint team, which is actually developing the Cinnamon desktop environment, is actually still working on that probably. And it's going to be released apparently on the next version of Linux Mint, which is going to offer probably also a newer kernel. Now, let me open up here the settings in Arch. Here you have the appearance settings where you can change your background. Right now I have some Archword papers in here, which I installed. We have also some backgrounds from GNOME. We have also the Advaita desktop paper here. And right now I don't have any pictures here in here. So there is nothing else to see. But we can change also the effects for the system here. We can change the window effects and many others. We can also customize here if you want more in depth the settings for mapping windows, closing windows, etc, etc. But as you can see here, we have already a fairly good amount of customization without actually being too much. So I can turn this off actually for now. We have also, of course, our uh, font selection here and we have, of course, also our themes. Now, right now here in this installation, I'm using the Arc, uh, the Arc theme, which I downloaded from the repositories. I'm using the Tila icon theme, which I downloaded from the AUR and also the Arc Dark for the desktop. Now, of course, we can always add and remove themes here in Cinnamon directly from this tab here, or you can also, of course, download them from the Arch repositories as well. You can also upgrade them from here, but that's gonna be changing with Cinnamon 5 because you will have a GUI tool and a CLI tool where you can update actually all your spices. That means desklets, applets, extensions, and themes as well. So we have also some extra settings here. Now, the other thing here are the applets. So what are the applets? Well, the applets are actually the small widgets you see here appearing on the panel. Now, if I click here on applets, you can see I have already some of these available. Now, the first one is actually external because it's not coming pre-installed in Cinnamon, but you can install as many as you want. I'm gonna show you this afterwards when I go to the download tab here. And you can see here, I have some of these are active, but they are not visible. And that's because, for example, like this uh, favorites, uh, applet here. I don't have any favorite folder in the Nemo file manager. As soon as I do, the star will appear here and I can browse my favorite folder from my panel and so on. So you can see here, these are the applets already available in the system. Some of them are not active, some of them are. Now you can also download more. If you want to do that, you go to the download tab here and you have a long list of applets that you can download. So for example, if you want to download this Cinna menu, which is an alternative menu for Cinnamon, you can click it, download it here, and then go back to manage and go back to the top here. And we can click this and plus to activate it. And as you can see, we have the, our new menu here, which is slightly different. It has a different layout and different size for the icons. And of course, you can always move these applets here. If you don't like the order, you can also move this menu, for example, here on the left side if you prefer to do that. Now, I don't need this. I just wanted to show you how it's done. So I can just click the minus here to deactivate it and I will delete it from the system. And these are the applets. Now let's go back to the settings and we have next desklets. So what are desklets? Well, desklets are basically widgets for your desktop. So here I have three uh, desklets already available in the system. One is the clock desklet. So if I click this one and click the plus menu, it's gonna appear here on the desktop. Now, of course, you can always customize it 
uh, with a different font size, different color, or if you want to use a custom date format. Now, let me close this up. Same thing here for desklets. If you go to download, you can download several more. We have, for example, disk space. So if we download this, for example, and we go back to manage and click it and click the plus menu, you can customize this. You can basically drag it on another place of your desktop here and you can customize this as well. So for example, monitor a file system or RAM. So for example, if you don't wanna have the file system here, you wanna have the RAM, you can change this as well and so on. So you have several options here. Now let's go back to the settings and let's go to extensions. Now extensions are what extensions are, like in GNOME. So they are basically expanding the functionality of the desktop environment. Right now, I actually downloaded an extra extension because Cinnamon doesn't come with any extension pre-installed, at least here on Arch. And so I downloaded this watermark. What this does basically, if I move this window out of the way, you can see it places the Arch watermark on, on the center of the screen. Now, if I click the cog icon here, you can see we have the possibility to change the watermark logo from Arch to other distributions, or if you want, you can also select your own custom watermark. We have also the opacity and many other options like the position and the size. Now, of course, here we can also download more extensions. Well, we have, for example, transparent panels, we have G-Tile and many others as well. So there are many customizations options here that you can do in Cinnamon. Now, all of these spices that I showed you now as I said before, there is a new command line tool that you can use to update all of these at once. So if I open up the terminal here and let me go full screen and increase the font size, you can type in here cinnamon dash spice dash updater and then dash dash update dash all and then hit enter. So this is gonna basically update all your spices on the system. This is new in Cinnamon 5. Again, there should be a GUI tool for this as well, but I couldn't find it yet on Arch. It's probably going to be available a little later. And this is one of the new features, as I said, in Cinnamon 5. Now, another thing is, for example, also the lock screen. The lock screen is fairly simple. Control Alt L and you will have your screen locked. It's a very simple lock screen, as you can see. You can type in your password here, you go back to the desktop, but there are some few touches here that you can change. So for example, if you go back to the settings and go to the screen saver here, now we have the settings here, of course, but we can also customize it. So for customizations here, you can choose also whether you wanna show the clock or not. You can choose a custom time and date format. You can change the fonts. You can also put a message here when the screen is locked. And if you want, you can also ask for a custom message when locking the screen from the menu. For example, I don't know, if you click this and we click this and then we go to the arch menu here and click, for example, the lock screen icon, it's gonna ask you, please type an away message for the lock screen. So you could type in, for example, here, I'll be back in five and then click okay. So when you lock the screen, you will have your message there. So this is also one nice customization. There is also another similar customization on a Mate screen saver, but we don't have that here on Cinnamon because on the Mate screen saver, you can actually, if somebody is checking your screen saver, they can actually leave a message for you when you go back to your desk. So the other things I like here in Cinnamon, it's because it's also fairly light. So if I open up the terminal here, let me increase the font sizes just slightly so, and type in free dash H, you can see it's using right now 600, a little bit over 600 megabytes. So it's fairly light as well. Of course, this is not as light as a window manager like DWM, for example, but for a desktop environment, it's actually pretty okay. Another thing that I would like to show you is actually the panel. So the panel is actually fairly customizable. If I go here to panel settings, uh, you can see here it highlights the panel that we are working on right now. You can select if you wanna hide it or if you wanna auto hide it. You can select, of course, the size. You can select also what the zones are showing you and you can select also general options. So for example, in panel edit mode here, you can really move around your applets here if you don't like the order of these. And right now, because I am in panel edit mode, it's showing all applets available, even they're not showing when in normal mode. And that's because they're gonna be triggered only when needed. Now you can also add new panels if you want. So you can click here, for example, add new panel and you can select where you wanna add it. So if you wanna add it on top, you can click here and you will have new new panel on top and you can customize this as well with as many applets as you want. 
So actually I don't need this, so I can close this up and right click here and click remove. Now, if I go back to the settings one more time here and I go to workspaces, you can see we have also several options for workspaces. Now, right now, if I change the workspaces by hitting Control, Alt and the arrow keys, you can see it changes my workspace. Now, if I don't wanna see the switcher, I can just turn this off. And if I click the keys again, you will see I'm just switching without seeing anything. So this is one of the options available here in workspaces. Now, there are many other options here in Cinnamon, for example, here for the windows. Here, for example, you can choose, of course, your buttons, order the actions, and you can choose also the behavior. So here you can change the window focus behavior. You can change also the behavior on how windows are behaving when moving and resizing. And also we have settings for Alt and Tab here. We have also settings for window tiling. Right now they are already enabled. As you can see here, enable window tiling and snapping. So that means if I snap from here, you can see it gives you a guide. On the top is going to be the same, on the bottom is going to be the same, and it's going to be the same also on the right as well. So again, this is very personal, but the Cinnamon desktop environment to me, it's very customizable. It doesn't actually force me to do anything. I can really change everything I need to change. Now, it doesn't offer as many options as KDE, but for me, this is actually enough. Now, I know there are some of you out there which are really loving KDE because its depth of customization options and I get that. It is absolutely great to have that possibility, but again, it falls into the personal category. So for me, the amount of customization options here in Cinnamon is enough, but again, it's personal preference. So this is all I wanted to share with you guys about the Cinnamon desktop environment and why it is my favorite desktop environment. If you're using already Cinnamon as your desktop environment, let me know in the comments below why you are using actually Cinnamon and why you love it. And if you like any other desktop environment, let me also know in the comments below. As you know, I'm always curious to know your opinion as well. And I will try to answer you also as soon as I can. I hope you liked the video, guys. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and subs to the channel if you haven't already. Subs always help me out. And if you want to support my work, you can do so by becoming a Patreon, or if you want, you can also donate via PayPal through my website as well. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. I'll see you very soon in the next one.